This is Oddities San Francisco. A customer came into the shop looking for a rare Egyptian relic to use as inspiration for his artwork. Audra asked me to look for this piece because Egyptology is one of my favorite subjects. So I'm going to see a collector friend who says she has an item that I just might want. Wednesday, I'm so happy to see you. Hi, I'm so Randy. glad you're here. Oh, come so on in, to you. Donna, yeah, come on. in, come in. Wow. There's a particular vibe when you walk into my home that you wouldn't expect coming in to a 78 trailer. It's a maneuverable home, but filled with art. I'm actually here today looking for a client. He's looking for Egyptian relics to add mm. to his collection. I recently picked up something. I think you'd like it. OK. I'm getting a little full here. Come with me, and I'll give you a shot. <laughs> OK. This is my special, unique person thing. I'm not totally sure. Oh, my god, that's beautiful. I've named her Lucy. I'm not sure she's female or male, but <laughs> she's Lucy. So you love Lucy? I believe she is an Egyptian mummified cat. I could definitely see that. Um, although her wrappings are gone, but it looks like she was wrapped at one point. Is she preserved in that manner then? They preserved animals in the same way that they preserved humans oh, then. Oh, really? So they would remove all her organs and leave the heart intact. Uh, wrap it in linen. Wow. Um, it would be dried with a salt substance called natron. You know, I'm hoping it's maybe something that your collector might be interested in. Lucy is very special, but there are millions of cats that were mummified. I feel like my collector oh, is yes. looking for something a little bit more, more unique. Lucy stays? Lucy stays. I love her, and you love her. OK, Lucy, you get to go back. Thank you so much yes, for your time. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Wednesday so much. Let me show you out to the door. 